I thought our team was Black Falcon and not uh, Fluorescent Yellow Falcon. Guys, like this video and I will beat Misha relentlessly with this stop sign. my camera on. Hi there. Are we doing, are doing a kiss? <laughs> He's got the biggest camera. That's oh, important. Oh, I've definitely got the Mine's biggest. I've got the biggest camera. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> don't bring, don't bring the small cameras, all right? <laughs> I don't wonder why we gathered to you here today. Yeah, why? I mean, oh. I don't know. <laughs> what, you got There's, there it is. That's the one. That's Should we go? <laughs> are you gonna ride that? Yeah. We're a now. Oh, look how beautiful this is. I didn't see any of this yesterday. Oh, it's windy though. <laughs> Look at that in Germany, bro. Sehr windig. Yeah. Bitte schön. What do you want me to do right now, eh? This is a boring bit. Okay. Let's go. So we're on our way right now to probably the most exciting thing I've ever fucking done in this crazy career. We're gonna go look at our brand new race car which we haven't well i don't know how this video is titled but we haven't seen it yet you guys don't know what it is yet but it's a, a bit of a step up from our car last year well i'm pretty nervous i don't know about these guys i think they're, they're playing it a bit cooler than i am but i'm i'm pretty uh my resting heart rate is like a thousand right now why are we going around misha <laughs> oh he forgot okay fair enough guys who is ready to okay. do some pool action did you bring your mankini i actually did Nice. <laughs> That's you here. Um, what do we do? Like, what time is it? I'm gonna go play Forza now. Uh, I, I, I don't really want to do this. Like everyone's like gathering around. Everyone's like, oh, go on, go on, go in. So this is uh, this is the big moment. Now. Yeah. All right. Oh my God. There it is. a wing. Oh my God. It looks so good. It looks so good. Can't wait to drive it. Doing it, bro. Fuck it out, man. Oh, man. I want to hug you. No. Can you. How many cushions will you need? I'm good right now, I can see. This is the best ever. <laughs> oh my god. Can you hold the steering wheel? Yeah. <laughs> it's a great steering wheel. <laughs> Holy fuck. I mean, oh my. <laughs> I've driven an M4 before, so it's um, a, a big privilege to be back in one. This is like a proper race car, you know. Oh, yeah. the, 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 the 330i oh, yeah. was awesome, but this is like, I'm sitting in the back seats, you got carbon oh, fibre yeah. everywhere. Yeah, pretty, pretty good, pretty good announcement, I think. <laughs> a bit different from the 330. Yeah, yeah a, little, <laughs> a little bit different. <laughs> Holy hell. And it's got my name on the side of it. I feel like a, a big like affinity now to the Bilstein colours, to see it in our car, in our colours is... Uh, We're gonna go home and play Forza. It's a bit boring, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's a bit boring. I mean, surely Forza multiplayer is more realistic than this. <laughs> Obviously, this is quite serious. We're at like a you know dedicated um, track event for, for Black Falcon. We have our own GT4 for the day. I mean, it was serious before, but this is more serious. It's serious though. So we, we have like a little run plan for today. I'm gonna get in first cause irreparable damage to the car so the other guys can't drive it and say I'm the only one out of the team to drive a GT4. I think that's the best way of doing it, right? Jimmy going in gets the big nipples. <laughs> Get the zoom in. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go! 
know, first time out in our NLS race car. It's not technical. Uh, slippy down here, apparently. Very slippy on the cold tyres. Trying to hit his Porsche through behind. So I've not gone on that once. I'm just trying to concentrate on what I'm doing right now. Being nice, easy. First lap round here ever. God, that feels pretty nice actually out of the box. Oh, you go wide in, don't you? This all feels very foreign and yet very familiar. I had the opportunity to do a few practice laps this in I racing, I've got to say, it helped a lot. Bit early on the first break, but it's okay. First break through. Definitely not in the right seat position. That's something we work on, you know. I forgot how good GE3 brakes or GE4 brakes are. They're pretty much the same, to be honest. Well, just nail it and trust it. Such a crazy layout around here. Just getting used to the track still. Got to learn where to roll this speed a bit better. So much grip. Ah, a bit wide there. That's right, we're learning, you know. Easy, Jimmy. To be honest, that's not a bad time. 55.6. To like the third lap around here in the car we have no experience with. I don't think we're too far off the uh, Gabby, which is really nice. Definitely very messy right now, though. Leave the engine on. Leave the engine on. That was our first few laps there in the uh, GT4 at Portimao. That's so cool. I'm a bit too far away. I need to be a bit closer. But wow. Oh, my God. It's pretty great. <laughs> Crash control's a bit invasive. And in the high-speed corners, like, especially... Um, so in the last sector, when you have that big, long left hand up the hill, at the end it can get a little bit, it can move a bit, but it's okay. Oh, you're not sweating. There's AC in there, bro. <laughs> it's great. The track's amazing, it's a roller coaster. The thing is, like, this is a GT4, and there's a bit of aero, but not infinite. So in some of the fast corners, you get to the end of it, you're like, whoa, <laughs> it starts moving. <laughs> Whatever you want it to do, the car just does it. There's still a bit of learning to do with the brakes. I think I had a bit of trouble with that. I feel like that was great. It's like, what the f how, what am I doing? How am I here? And then, oh, right. shit, I've got big. <laughs> I literally had that moment. I was like, wow, I'm at work today. <laughs> oh, shit, pretty corner. The first time you get in here is pretty intimidating. So he's, he's a pretty chill guy. He'll be all right. I mean, first time driving the car today, I reckon we've got a good grasp on, on things. Obviously there's a bit of refinement to come, but solid start. It's cold guys, it's really cold. It's a bit late. Good, very nice, good day. Good cars, good people. It's good food as well, so what more can you wish for? Well, TC is definitely off there. Let's try and have like a relaxed stint. So we push on. We're consistent. We're quick. Oh, I never get this corner right. You've got to do that better, Jimmy. Nice, with more power. <laughs> really good fun. Did you do a sub 150 already? No. No. Oh. 52. Without someone table, I can't go much faster than that, I don't think. So 
Maybe a bit of tuition going a bit quicker, but it felt good. We're gonna go get told by Gabby how bad we are now. Come in, bro. Have a little cuddle, come on. Try to learn something. So... No, don't learn from me, mate. I look at this mm. and I see a problem. Not a big one, but I see a problem. There is literally 17 laps and uh, they are pretty much all the same. Especially for a test day, we actually strive to be as inconsistent as possible because we want to figure it out. Mm. Right? You understand what I'm trying to say? It's like, I don't want you to do consistently average. I don't want you to do consistently average. I want you to try to, to do it amazingly once or twice. And this will inevitably mean that you are going to fuck it up yeah. significantly so the consistency is not there but this is not what we are after you need different tools to do different things if you have to put a nail in a wall you need a hammer but if you have to paint the wall you can't paint it with a hammer you have to paint it with a brush that's the same thing you cannot just go out and hammer everything i'm gonna try that <laughs> no no by no straight by no no absolutely not and also one other thing that i should suggest is to completely ignore the lap time i know that we all say that we do but in reality it's always there Right? I really care only exclusively about this. I am only happy if this, this culture is created among you three boys. The goal is not to have the fastest lap time. The goal is to really, you go out and you try to draw the best lines you can there as an overarching team. Uh, I want to stress that uh, your self-worth is not connected to your lap time or your driving skills or your driving or especially it's the worst thing say so be inside it. No, 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 absolutely <laughs> not. So like the, I really mean it in the sense that embrace the process mm. of doing it wrong. So that little session there with Gabby was pretty useful. I think what he's saying to me there is just don't break for T1. I think that's what I heard. Just don't break for T1. 100 bar, mate. My leg. Look, I've got a little gamer leg. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. Little leg. If I do 100 bar, my leg's gonna do that. And then I'm gonna get out of the car, but yeah, fine. I thought I was really hitting the pedal, pedal but it's like 75 bar, which is nothing. I think mainly for me, because he actually hit on something that I've been really bad with personally. And like, I am obsessed with like, the lap time. I'm obsessed with like, trying to be as, well, what I perceive to be as quick as possible. I should be using this time, with this track of this mega runoff to go and do stupid shit, because then, I know what the car can and can't do and stuff, but it surprised me at some point on the Nurburgring, which it will definitely do because that circuit is terrifying. Yes, we're back at it tomorrow then, yeah? Yeah, definitely, back at it tomorrow. And it's his fault if I spin or ride off the car, all right? 100% his fault. Well, remember what Gabby said. during a stint in this car and it wasn't the 330i which sounds like crazy to say but just an easier car to drive um, I felt a bit better that run did some things that Gabby sort of told me and uh, the time came down but mainly I think that's because of the soft tyre but it felt like uh, what he was saying was making sense and I was starting to see that on circuit flat flat out yeah, yeah. yeah. go out to the grandstands yeah can't exist yeah T3 and 4 up the hill again flat just jump it Jump. And, uh, basically, any Ferrari Challenge car you see, got a lunch. Got a lunch. It's in the Philly Science one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, it makes uh, sense. Yeah, I had another little chat with Gabby. We're going in the right direction, which is important. Um, I, I, I'm really struggling to hit the brake pressure. You know, like I'm uh, about 30 bar underneath his peak brake input. I just can't do it. I, I, maybe more leg days at the gym needed, but that's where my weakness is right now. Getting that big peak brake pressure in the, the big stopping zones. Basically, we're moving forward, which is exactly what this test is all about. And hopefully, come our first race at the Nürburgring, we can all be, um, you know, better than Kevin Estra. Little to my knowledge, on my stint, the car sustained its uh, first little bit of damage. Um, here's part of it here. I don't know what happened, like a rock or something? I don't know. It came up and just punched like a hole 
here. As you can see, expertly repaired by the guys at Black Falcon. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, I have the uh, not so great uh, achievement of being the first one to damage the car. Not on purpose. It wasn't my fault. Act of God. Really, it's gone like super well. The pace from all three of us is actually now pretty much we're all within a second which is really nice really consistent i'm doing some more laps soon i think it's it's kind of mad it's kind of mad being able to be in these things You're like oh i'm gonna go do some more laps in the race car there oh, goodbye off i go oh. <laughs> i haven't quite got used to it still even now yes it's all good for the back i'm not quite long enough we were saying whenever misha starts making the dad joke now we've got a sign for him to stop Basically, fine tuning. We, we found. We found the spot we're all very comfy in the car. We're just trying to make sure we can get the uh, geometry of the suspension in the exact space we want it. I always like forget which order to do stuff. Like sometimes I'll put my helmet on. I'm like, oh yeah, shit, Balaclava. Oh yeah, shit, earphones. Wait a minute. <laughs> the opportunity to go out on some uh, newer tyres and uh, even though it was a hard compound got quite close to doing uh, a 50 which has been my goal. 51 won was the time, typical really but the pace is coming and the lap time isn't too important but it just shows that we're starting to maybe understand how like, the car works a bit better. I've just like been standing out here the last like 10 minutes or so just trying to take in what this experience is. Like we're in this dedicated track day in Portugal with our GT4 car been driving the last, there it goes, the last three days. I'm an emotional guy, you know, I love this stuff. And to be like on this side of it now is, uh, yeah, it, it's never ever lost on me. 
No, I'm done now. You know what? I've had enough of your fucking slow work bullshit, mate. We're not filmmakers. We're dirty YouTubers. <laughs> it's none of this production quality shit. It's just a bit surreal, like, because we're really, we're just like a, a couple of friends now. Like, we, like it was like, oh, YouTube acquaintances. I think it's the first today. time that Jimmy called me friend. And the last time I'm calling him friend. But, Don't um, ever say that ever again. <laughs> Never. <laughs> but, but, like, we just, we're going on this, like, adventure together. And it started off in some fucking awful, like, February meeting in the snow somewhere. And now we're here at Port Mal, testing our GE4 car. For a year of racing and the M24. It's a cool journey, you know. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I don't really have the words for it apart from, yeah, it's good. <laughs>